Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World and welcome to me doing one of my favourite things in life window shopping for guitars online uh, I'm not buying anything today, I've actually got four guitars which I'm waiting to get delivered uh, two are in the UK and customs waiting to get customs duty assessed so I can pay God knows how much in import duty and two are still in Japan I haven't arranged for shipping yet because uh, you know there's obviously a delay with things given the current situation in the world at the moment. So we're on Zen Market again and today I'm just going to look at Greco's that are probably within my price range. I mean I tend to do to buy things which are um, 250 to 400, 450 pounds um, because by the time you, you get that time you pay to get it delivered in Japan, uh, you get it delivered here, pay import duty you're looking at, you know, 500, £550 for the guitar. So uh, let's let's forge ahead with this guitar hunt. So I'll type in Greco in the search bar. It comes up. Greco. Body. We're buying a body. Um, so if I put current price... I'll go for 200 UK pounds maximum. Ugh, I'm not buying, so we'll just we'll put 500 in. 500. Um, we'll click use the I mean they don't don't make records anymore, but just in case somebody's listed as new, I'll just put in used and I'll click apply. So the lowest one, 211 pounds. Is a GC Greco GC sixty. Go down and it's slower. So it's this it's like a like a PRS sort of copy. I mean, I don't want to give the game away, but you might be seeing one of these soon. Not a red one though. Looks like quite a nice car. To select humbuckers. So that's 27,000 yen, which in today's money and UK pounds is 211 pounds and 41 pence. And you can buy it now. Um, Paul Reed Smith shape. Greco GPH 60. The rest of the fret is okay. I haven't checked the truss rod. And there's no trim arm. It's funny, you know, there might be guitars on Zen market, which I don't know if there's a huge market for tremolo arms in Japan, but you never seem to get a guitar with a trim arm on it. So that's um, £211. I mean, if I was going to buy one of these, uh, I'd probably pay less than that. Second up, we have um, 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 um. it takes a while to translate. Greco Les Paul, Neco logo. Um, so the early 70s ones, the R and Greco looked a bit like an N. Um, and you can tell by the stamp, Greco stamp on the pickup, this is early 70s. Um, it's like the Gibson's, like my 72 SG special, uh, SG Docs. It's got a stamped Gibson on the humbucker. This has got stamped Greco, obviously. Let's look at this. So it's a boat on neck. You can see the, the R looks like an N, an echo. So it's pretty beat up. Around the edges, boat on neck. No serial number in those days. I don't know if replaced tuners by the looks of it. There's a Maxon pickup. 
Ovo je na Demarziju, Demarziju na Brđu. Ovo se ga nogude, nogude je Demarziju pekao. A likely is pekao, so da je neko lugovan na kojih manci get him on. So this is buy now, 211 pounds, 41 pence. Some close up pickups there. Yeah, in the uh, early 70s as well, the the bridge posts had uh, turn screws as well, which you would normally see on Korean type instruments, not on Japanese ones. So yeah, a few dings, a few dings around the end. They actually look well polished. A pancake body as well, like Gibson was doing. I like this when they do uh, a lot of pictures, so you get a real, real good look at what you're buying. Yeah, so it's replaced, um, replaced tuners. Oh, chunk there out the body where the neck bolts in. I don't know exactly because there's no serial number yet, the early 70s had no serial numbers. Hollow body with a bolt on neck. Yes, yeah, um, funny construction method that Greco used there, it's not, it's not like a 335 hollow. Um, I'll try and find a picture. But it's, um, it's, a, it's a good sound, it's different, different from a complete solid body, but the neck is straight, frets are... 80%. No warp in the neck. Truss rod works. So much was that again? 211 pounds? Alright I guess. Once you uh, add on, on free shipping within Japan, once you add on all your costs you're probably looking at, I don't know, another 100, 120 pounds on top of that. Um, next up, an N60, and it says junk, junk, Greco N60, question mark, so it might be junk, it might not be, I mean you can get a real bargain with the ones that are marked as junk, but the risky run is that when you get it, it's junk, and then that's not a bargain. So that's a uh, like a big ES175 natural. Greco stamped tuners. Bigsby. It's a nice guitar, eh? Yeah, I like the look of that. I mean, I've got that Ibanez um, 2355, I think it is, 1973, which is basically the same as this. Might have been made in the same factory or something. But yeah, that's nice. 33 bids so far, and we're at £215.80, and we've got just under a day to go. That looks nicer. The condition metal parts have floating rust. The tailpiece has been replaced with a big spay. There's a thread on the body back and 60, 60 to 70 percent frets remaining. I like the look of that, pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a big hollow body fan, but that's that's nice. I mean, it's interesting to see how much that ends up going for because. A day to go, it's at 233 bids, so there's definitely a couple of people are after that. Next up, mm. so it's like a newer model. 
record called the WS Standard. It's just a wild scamper. I think that was like a more sort of budget wine. Wild scamper. Two hundred and fifteen pounds ninety five pence. Comes with the Greco case. Supreme Sound Buster. Made in Japan A01, so it's that 1990 maybe. Oh, comes with all the um, all the case candy. Looks quite nice, I'm not a big strat fan. Please read before bidding. Um, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really say much. It says it weighs 2.8k. Yeah, nice guitar, it's uh, not, not really a strat guy. So we'll leave that. Uh, next up, Greco SG360. So that's like a, an SG, obviously. Clues in the name. 360 would have been 36,000 yen, 1974. So, we have bought one neck. Uh, no, not really a fan of that one. Next up, an LG 70. LG 70. Quite a sharp cutaway in that. Different headstock shape as well from your. Your normal Grecos. So where's Paul? It's like a few scratches here and there. Let's see what it says. Well, how much is it? Two hundred nineteen pounds twenty four pence. No bids. Six days to go. Black of Greco LG 70, 4.1 kilograms. Frets have decreased much for 8 to 9 minutes. Uh, I think that's translated as it should be 80 to 90%. It's quite nice, but I'm not a big fan of that headstock shape. Fairly um, standard Gibson Greco. Uh, there's a Tusk flying V. It's like a, another one there. Really pointy, pointy flying V. So pointy, probably Rudolf Schenker wouldn't even use it. And he loves flying V's. Look at the uh, look at the tuners on these things. It's bizarre, completely bizarre. That's a thermal one and a half as well. I mean, look look how pointy this is. So C eighty four. So it's March nineteen eighty four. Those tuners are crazy. I'm not even sure how they work. So that's current price two hundred nineteen pounds twenty four pence, but you can buy it now two hundred fifty eight pounds thirty nine. No bids. I don't. I don't think I'll be bidding on that. There's another junk one. Um, JJF1. I've had a couple of these, they're quite nice, sort of Charvel type things. Um, I think I maybe paid. I think I got one of these for £90, 90 pounds, I think. Obviously, I had to all the shipping and stuff like that. And this one is by now £233.34. So it's like, it's like a Charvel. It's a nice, nice guitar. Um, no, it's got a Kaler and a Floyd, Lure, Floyd Rose. Yeah, it's got a Kaler Flyer on it. Which, I'm not a Trem guy, but I like Kaler Flyers. If I was going to have a Trem, it would be a Kaler Flyer. EG550. Is that one of the ones with a single bolt on the back of the neck? Nice top in it. Not sure if that would be a 
a veneer on the top. Yeah, it looks nice, eh? Veneer, I would think. Rock spirits, yeah, that's one of the lower price. I don't know if that's a crack in the veneer there. You see that in quite a lot of the EGF 850s and stuff, where the um, where the actual top has, has shrunk and it cracks the veneer. Yeah, it's got a single bolt in the neck. Um, the next, yeah, it's got yeah. There's a single bolt in the back of the neck. Um, I think there'll be two bolts inside as well, screwing in so it pulls it together. One of the more price models. How much was that? Two hundred and thirty-three pounds thirty-four pence. Um, I've had one of these, I mean it was quite nice, it was earlier than this, this is 1991 and the rear pickup has been changed to a DiMarzio Super Distortion several dents on the body and back of the neck some cracks on the surface coat and yet, so the the top, the veneers actually cracked I'd probably avoid that one Super Real EG480. There is a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Let's see what the problem is. Again, an EG480 would be one of the one of the bottom of the line super real guitars. Sunburst looks a bit funny how it's so so thin to the outskirts of the body. Super power. Uh, we not well. Look at the look at the neck of the frets there. That's going to need a fret dress. That's for sure. On the cowboy cord area. Mm. Don't see a serial number either. Let's see. Let's see what the problem is. The neck is straight, 60% of the frets remain, electrical system works well, top is clean, synthesized hollow body, it is light and a lively sound like a semi-acoustic. There is no problem as musical instrument, but since it is in this state, it will be exhibited as junk item. Um, buy now, £233.34. Mm. If it was maybe £100 cheaper I would buy it, but yeah, no, not that price. Next up we have a 1979 Greco M600 Paul Stanley Iceman type. Um, I've, had, I've had one of these, I had a Korean one, which was quite nice, but it's strange getting used to the body shape if you've I mean, I've been playing Les Pauls for so long it's I'm really used to it, but um, wasn't the key on the body shape. Boat on neck. So this lower model. I mean I love the look of these. I loved when Paul Stanley was playing them but you know it's maybe it's like it's too big for me. I'm quite a short fat guy and that's that's like way too long. Yeah. So this is two hundred and thirty four pounds ninety pence. No bids. Just under a day to go, what does it say? 1979 U1000 pickups detachable neck yeah F79 serial number £234 again I mean if it was 50 60 pounds cheaper maybe considered but not that price uh, an EG500 from 1977, so that's going to have a semi hollow body as well. Um, 60s EG 200, yeah, that sort of thing. Ah, um, this next one, that's pretty cool. Uh, like a Les Paul recording. I've always liked the look of Les Paul recordings. 
with the uh, low impedance pickups. So this is £234.90. These normally go quite expensive. I guess this will be a bolt on neck. Always got an Eric Clapton sticker, that's not so good that one. It'll devalue it a bit, I think. Yeah, bolt on neck. I think those tuners have been replaced as well. Maybe not. No serial number, so it must be early 70s. Look at the size of the cavity. And it's got built in effects, phase, tone. Um, you can see the hardware's very tarnished next to it. Um, I think those knobs have been replaced as well, so a fair selection of knobs. So, see, I like the look of these. I do really quite fancy getting one. And um, let's see what it says. So, it's £234.90. No bids, just under a day to go. Oh, more pictures here. I think they look cool. The stickers on the back say, All I want is Greco, Orange, Roland. We have not confirmed the operation. I do not know if it can be used. Sticker on the body, the jack is rusted. Please use for repair or parts removal. The first number is the title and the control number. So this is a junk item. Cost me £400 to buy that. To get to my door now looking at it. I mean, you're taking a risk because it says junk. Um, but you find a lot of these say junk just because there's no sound coming out, which you know, keep anything, it could just be a loose lead on the, um, the output jack. So it take a bit of cleaning up. I need to get the goo gone to get those stickers gone. Boat on neck. Mmm, £400. What I'm going to do is I'll add to my watch list. Because you sometimes find, I mean, if it doesn't sell, the auction will just keep going, but and the price can come down. Oh, there's a nice one. EG1000 Custom. Nice, uh, nice Les Paul Custom type. Um, EG1000 quite high up the range as well, so ah, no shipping, this item is blocked, pick up only. Well, let's look at it. So it'll be a solid, solid wood top, I think. Nice. Ebony fretboard, I think. So you need to buy a new switch. Hardware's quite tarnished. So what's this? Didn't see the serial number there. Let's see if it has a serial number. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what year it is. So let's just bash through a few of these. What was, what was my maximum price? Five hundred. Oh, got a flying V's. I've actually got three flying V's at the moment. Eh? I don't think I need more than three flying V's. My wife doesn't think I need more than three flying V's. I can tell you that. An EG 700B black. That's nice. I've got, I've actually got one of these. 1979. Which I think cost me 600 altogether by the time I got it here. 5,600. Nice guitars, U2000 pickups. That is in mine anyway. Nice. Didn't see what year it is. So that's two hundred and oh, 1975. It's 300 pounds ish. So quickly, quickly. My camera battery is running flat, so I need to get up to my 500 pounds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Four five four. 
Actually, I'm going to stop at this one because I really, I really want one of these. Eh? And the reason I want one is because Joe Perry played a Dan Armstrong plexiglass guitar. Um, I think this one's been up for sale a few times because I've, I've watched it, but so it's like a Dan Armstrong copy. 24 frets. Um, now, I think the necks on these are quite thin. Boat on neck, sing through the body. Yeah, I mean, uh, I really like the look of these. I don't know, the serial numbers are B0 or 1980. So it's £454, 15 pence, which is quite a lot like. It's an APW600, and it's the wood body version. Yeah, it's nice. Basswood. So I like the look of that, so I'm going to add. I mean, it's too expensive, I wouldn't pay £454, but I shall add it to my watch list and we'll keep an eye on it for a couple of months, see if it, see if it comes down in price. Um, so that's enough for today, I've taken up enough of your time and I've got things to do. So as I say, I've got four guitars coming, two should be here, I think, uh, maybe the end of this week, next week, uh, the ones are currently in the UK. So we'll do an unboxing, and there's actually two guitars which, I mean, I normally just buy cheap things which I fix up, and then just sell on. Um, but these two, I'd sold quite a few guitars, so I, um, I bought these two guitars that are coming for myself to keep um, them nice, like, nice. And I think they're quite, quite rare as well. Um, but, altogether, including buying them, and shipping and getting them here, they were um, less less than a second hand Gibson Les Paul standard. And I don't mean a 1959 Gibson Les Paul standard, I mean just uh, any Les Paul standard these days. So thank you for watching folks, I'll do an unboxing of my new guitars at some point. Look after yourself, cheers for now.